you got to give it to Marjorie Taylor Greene. She might not be polished or intelligent or educated or refined or pleasant or likable. Anyway, Marjorie Taylor Greene proved to us once again that in America, to be in politics, you just really kind of have to have a basic understanding of how monopoly works. As you probably know, the Republican Party suffered a humiliating defeat when it failed to muster enough votes to impeach Majorca, a move that prior to the vote was heralded as basically a no-brainer. But the GOP is in complete disarray at this point, and the party that enjoys a majority in the House and bet that entire house on weaponizing the border crisis in an attempt to win something at the 2024 election wasn't even able to scrape together enough votes to close the deal on the Mallorca's impeachment. But fear not, because Marjorie Taylor Greene is here to explain to us why the GOP at this point couldn't even win a game of rock, paper, scissors if it played alone. And that explanation, of course, entails blaming the Democratic Party for unfair behavior. During the Mallorca's impeachment vote, the deciding nay was cast by Representative Al Green of Texas, who decided to leave the hospital where he was recovering from emergency surgery to show up in a wheelchair to perform his constitutional duty. And Madge had this to say. And they hid one of their members uh, waiting to the last minute, uh, watching to see our votes, um, trying to throw us off on the numbers that we had versus the numbers they had. So, yeah, that was a strategy at play tonight. So that's it. Trickery. The fact that a congressman shows up from the hospital to vote is now trickery to the GOP. I guess that's where we are now. The Republican Party is complaining that a congressman put his constitutional duty before his own health to cast a vote that proved decisive. And they're not just complaining, they think it's unfair strategy for some reason. Casting a vote is unfair strategy. The GOP is complaining that a black representative showed up to vote. Trying to prevent a black representative from voting. Where did I see that before? 